Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I want to share with you one uh, amazing library called uh, Easy Permissions and uh, this library is uh, very useful when it comes to handling uh, runtime permissions for your Android application. So uh, you can access this uh, library on uh, this uh, GitHub link. So uh, github.com slash v-m-a-d-a-l-i-n slash easy permissions forward slash ktx and uh, basically you just need to add this uh, dependency to your uh, Gradle build file and uh, then you can use this library to handle all your uh, runtime permissions. So down below you can check some uh, documentation about uh, how to use this uh, library but in this case uh, I'm going to show you uh, in one uh, simple application example. So now I'm going to open my uh, Android Studio project and here I have just prepared one uh, simple application. So here I have one activity and one fragment and this is how our fragment uh, looks like. So we have only two views, one button and one one text view. So uh, those two views uh, will be invisible by default and let me just show you how will those views uh, look like and whenever we press this button then we want to request a certain uh, runtime permission and also we have a different uh, view here which is a text view and uh, this text view will be visible only when we grant our application a permission. So let's set this view to invisible again. All right. So uh, as I already mentioned, uh, you need to have uh, just one dependency for easy permissions and that is uh, this one. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I have uh, already added the uh, view binding to my uh, fragment and uh, now here first uh, I'm going to create uh, two functions. Uh, one function uh, which will check if our application uh, have a certain permission and the second function will basically uh, request a new uh, runtime permission. So uh, I have already declared the one uh, permission inside my uh, Android manifest file and that is uh, access find location permission. Okay, so let's close that for now and here I'm going to start by creating uh, two functions. So the first function uh, will be named uh, has a location uh, permission and this function should return a boolean value and here I can just call uh, easy uh, permissions and uh, this is the object from our easy permissions library. So dot uh, has permissions and here we need to pass a few parameters. So the first one is a context and here I'm going to pass require context and the second parameter is the actual permission uh, which we want to check and in our case uh, that is a uh, access find location permission. So let's call here a manifest. So the second one android dot uh, permission dot uh, access find location. Okay, and now uh, this function will basically return true if uh, this permission is uh, granted by our application and it will return false if our application does not have this permission. So the next function uh, will be for uh, requesting uh, our uh, access find location permission. So here let's create a new function named the request location permission and this function will have a no parameter and here we're going to call easy permissions object again then request permissions function and here we need to pass a few parameters. So the first one is the actual uh, fragment so let's pass this and uh, the second parameter is the actual uh, rationale uh, message and this message uh, should be shown to our user whenever user denies our permission. So here I'm going to say uh, just a simple message inside the string and I'm going to write here for example uh, this application cannot work without a location permission. Okay, so that's our uh, rationale message. Then the third parameter is the actual request code and I have already declared that the request code on top of our first fragment. So here it is. Permission location request code. So let's pass that uh, right here. And finally we need to declare or uh, pass here our permission. So let's call a manifest dot permission dot access find location. And that's uh, all we need to do for our request location permission function. So basically this function will request this uh, permission from our user and this first function will check if we have that permission or not. Uh, now uh, the next thing here uh, I want to inherit uh, from our uh, easy permissions. So easy permissions dot uh, permission callbacks. And here I'm going to override the two callbacks. So on permission denied and on permission granted. Okay. So uh, as those names suggests, the first one uh, will be called when a user denies this uh, permission and the second one will be called when a user grant uh, our application that permission. Uh, so first I'm going to handle this uh, on permissions granted function and here I'm going to just uh, display a simple toast message. Okay, so this uh, toast message will say a permission granted and after that toast message I want to call or create a new function here named uh, set view visibility and now I'm going to create that function as well. 
while. So basically this function will be just for the example purposes and this function should uh, set our uh, view visibility inside our fragment. So here I'm going to just write some code and then I'm going to explain. Okay, uh, so as you can see inside this function we have one if block and one else block. So here inside our if block we are calling a has location permission function and this function should return true if our application has that permission and it will return false if our application does not have that permission. So in the first case, when we had the permission, we want to display our text view, which will say permission granted, and we want to hide our button. And if this uh, function returns false, then we want to hide our text view and uh, display our button. Uh, okay, so now let me scroll uh, here, and now I'm going to implement some code inside our uh, on permissions uh, denied uh, function, which we have uh, overridden. And here I'm going to just uh, write some code and then I'm going to explain. Okay, so as you can see here inside this uh, on permissions denied function, uh, we have one if block and here I'm calling this uh, some permissions permanently denied uh, function. And here I'm passing uh, this as a first parameter. And as a second parameter, I'm basically getting the, the actual uh, permission which we have uh, requested. So uh, if this uh, function returns true, that means that uh, the user have uh, permanently denied uh, our permission. And uh, in that case, uh, we want to display this uh, settings dialog to our user so the user can manually enable back uh, that permission. And of course in else case we are just requesting our location permission. And uh, there is uh, one more function uh, here which we need to override. So let me just uh, move this uh, on destroy view on the bottom here. And uh, here I'm going to override the one function so press Control O and let's search for on request permissions result okay so this one and here below that we need to call uh, our easy permissions dot uh, on request permissions result and here basically we need to pass all the parameters to our easy permissions so that uh, this uh, easy permissions library can handle our runtime permissions so here the first parameter is the actual request code and the second one is the permissions array of strings the third one is this uh, grant results and finally in the fourth parameter just pass uh, this which is referring to our fragment, okay. And uh, finally, inside our onCreateView here, I want to call our setViewVisibility function. So whenever onCreateView function is called for our fragment, we want to check and see if we have that permission. And if we have the permission, then we want to hide the button and show our text view. And if we don't have our permission, then we want to hide our text view and show our button. Okay, and uh, below that, I just want to add the one onClick listener for our button. And here I want to call request location permissions function. So now I'm going to run this application and show you in action how this will actually work. Okay, uh, so as you can see here now we are running our application and here we can see our button but we don't see our text view and that's because we haven't granted the, our application this location permission. Okay, so basically when I press this button we should be able to see one a new window uh, which will prompt us to actually grant our application the permission. So here we have uh, two options to allow this uh, location permission or to deny it. So if I click deny, uh, we're going to receive this uh, rationale message which we have already specified inside our request location permission function and this uh, rationale message will say uh, this application cannot work without location permission. And now if we press cancel, uh, nothing will happen and next time we click this button, we're going to again receive this uh, message and if I press cancel again, nothing will happen. But if we press OK now, then we should be able to see this uh, window. But now, as you can see, we have one extra option, which says uh, deny and don't ask again. So this uh, option will show only if you deny uh, this permission the first time. And of course, uh, we can select this third option. So let me show you that. And now we have uh, permanently denied this uh, location permission. So next time we uh, press this button, we're going to receive a new message, uh, which will say that uh, this application may not work correctly without the requested permission. Open the app settings screen to modify app permissions. And now we will have to manually uh, enable uh, this location permission, because uh, as you can see here, this uh, on permissions denied function uh, was triggered and this first if block was triggered as well. So here we have called this uh, some permissions permanently denied function and this function returned true and that's why we will now receive this uh, settings dialog if we press OK button. So now if we press OK we're going to go to our settings screen to our uh, device and then from there we need to select permissions then we need to enable this location permission uh, by ourselves. So let's enable that now. OK and now let's go back. And now when I press this button again, then you're going to see this message which will say permission granted. And now as you can see we only see our uh, text view which says uh, permissions uh, or permission granted and we don't see our button anymore. And now when I run this app again, 
as you can see that button uh, will not be shown because uh, our application has this uh, access find location permission and uh, only when we disable that permission by ourselves so for example when i select this location and click deny and then when i run this app again or just open that then you're going to see that we no longer see our text view and we see our button as we did in the beginning and uh, now we can just request this permission uh, all over again and uh, everything will work the same so uh, that will be all for this video. Now you have learned uh, how you can handle your runtime permissions uh, very easily using uh, Easy Permissions Library. I hope you enjoyed. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.